What is good, YouTube? Hey, I can't go out of town anymore. Like, seriously, I cannot go out of town. Every single time I've gone out of town in 2024, a diss track has dropped, whether it was, you know, with Benzino and Eminem, or if it was Kendrick and Drake, and now here we are with Mac Lethal. <laughs> you guys know I responded to the Mac Lethals already. Um, the, the back and forth Tom did from a couple years ago. I just recently did those. And here we are again. Mac Lethal um, is dropping another disc. Now, the only thing that I could think about, because it starts off here, I was minding my own business. And I don't know anything about it. I haven't listened to it. So um, the only thing I can think about is when Tom in God mode says he doesn't pretty much do disc tracks anymore because he caused you know, someone to lose their career and get divorced referring to Mac. And I guess this is his response to that. <laughs> I'm for it. I'm for it. Um, guys, do me a favor. Um, we're really close to 5,000. Uh, we're, we're right there. We're on the verge. And I might even be there when this, when I drop this today. So, but can you hit the subscribe button? That one right there, that one, because it, it would be a incredible feat to get there. But without further ado, <laughs> I'm all for this. I'm all for this. I love diss tracks. So let's go. <laughs> Sorry, technical issues <laughs> already. Let's do this. I'm, I'm all for this. Mark said go. Let's be clear. Let, let's be Here clear about one thing. You started yep. it. You sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. He starts off with the Tom McDonald. Oh my, going to the previous one way back there. And he's got Tom, his head on here, on a hill with his Canadian flag. Oh, this is be fun. This is be fun. Dick I'm excited. Sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> I mean. Oh my, oh my God. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth. But I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy. <laughs> well, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got I to gotta hit this up. So what I understand about the Mac Lethal thing is it was two songs that Mac did, right? Okay, I remember it was some tweets. So really, Mac started it with his tweets. So there's not some all honesty here. Mac tweeted about it in backtrack. And then Tom did a diss track. And then Mac and then Tom. Yeah. So I think it started with Mac, but let's go. He calls him a little kitty kitty. Squash this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. Hey, and just so you guys know, I have no eggs in this basket. Okay. I don't know much about uh, Mac Lethal. I really don't, except for the those diss tracks that I reacted to recently. And I've done a lot of Tom, Tom McDonald reactions. Now, I don't hate Tom McDonald. I think he's a great artist. You know, he's cool. And I, I love a lot of his music. But I also come from this from a from a non-biased angle. Like, I'm just a reactor. I want to react and give my honest opinion of what I think about it. So when I did the Mac Lethal ones, I thought his stuff was fire for Battle Rap before. And I thought Tom bodied him before. But I, you know, and I was being fair. And, and, and as I was watching it, you know, I'm like, oh, this is sick. Wow. And we found out later there was some lies in that. You know, but it's Battle Rap. And, and obviously Battle Rap, you want to, you want to be honest and truthful. You know, you want to bring that. You want to bring facts and receipts. So let's let's hear what he's got to say. Started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting to... <laughs> so, oh, <clears throat> now, I mean, <laughs> what are you saying? Tom, uh, again, I love Tom, but politically, when he's trying to promote his music, the way he promotes it is through transphobic, all these things. He's like up there. That's that's how he gets the buzz. That's how he, he affects the algorithms. And uh, Max call him out on that. You know? I mean, 
These are facts. These are facts. Now, I'm not saying that that Tom is transphobic. I'm not saying that that necessarily is the case. But he does use that persona, that platform, if you would, in his shorts to promote his videos that are dropping. He definitely, absolutely does that. Homophobic culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was dissing me. Fine, fight. Okay, Mac, let's let's be real here. The other day was a while ago, so you're a little late to the show. He's already dropped another song after this one. Um, but let's go. History. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was dissing me. Fine. Fight contract sign. Normally I would have paid this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my Okay, so I was right. I was right on this. Uh, he mentioned, but okay, when he mentioned it in God mode, he said he doesn't do like battle raps anymore, uh, disses anymore because... He, he had destroyed Mac's career and that uh, Mac got divorced because of that. And, and now Mac's saying, uh-uh, let's, let's address this. You mentioned my name. You mentioned my name years later. Here we go. Here we go. Paid this any mind, but you made a nine minute and by the way, in battle rap and in disses, everything's on the table. Listen, I can love the artist. I can appreciate the artist. I appreciate Tom. I appreciate all kinds of music and still enjoy when someone disses somebody. So... A song about your fight contract sign. Normally I would have paid this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding right. my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me, man? Are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd, we even agreed that we. So Tom unfollowed Mac. <laughs> what? I mean, after those disses, I figured they would, but. Apparently they're not getting along. Obviously they're not getting along right now. Again, is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd. We even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All is fair game in diss tracks. But let's be real, Mac, <laughs> you did not take the high road last time. Maybe you're referring to you took the high road by leaving the disc, but I would say that you took an L on the last one. By the way, this one's fire. The cadence is fire. The beat's fire. Um, but to say you took the high road, I mean, you you didn't take the high road. You guys went all in. You brought Nova into it. You, were, you went all in. There was no high road on the last one. But... If what he's saying is true, you know, you guys squashed the beef, you guys became friends, and then Tom unfollowed and then mentions his name in a, in a diss track. Um, even saying that I don't do disses, but throwing his name out the way he did, like I caused a divorce and that, this is fair game. It, it, you have to man up to this and respond. You just have to. At least in hip hop. Already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks, you're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases, she got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No Barack. Why? I mean, okay, it's fair. It's But I love Nova. <laughs> I love Nova. But it's a diss track. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's going toxic. He is He is all in on this one. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. Nova Rockefeller. <laughs> Known for Rockefeller. She was a groupie over a death. Dude, that's a bar. Nova Rockefeller rocking fellas. Oh. With diseases. She got fleas. You know what I want to see? I want to see Nova respond. If Tom doesn't do disses anymore, Nova, respond for your boyfriend. Respond. I want to see something really cool. I would be so love to see Nova respond to something like this. That would be incredible. 
that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No, the Rockefeller. <laughs> Known for Rockefeller. She was a groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cuck. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh, my God. That's a bar, by the way. You're not even a, your girl is talking about how she's she's whoring herself <coughs> to Def Jam. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, and it's not my place, but it's a bar. What he says is a bar. You know, you're not in the top ten. Your girl is, you know, screwed, literally, and that's what he's saying. He bucks. You're not even in the top ten rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh, my God. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you so hard you'll see three. Another bar. I'll get back to her. I'm as in getting smashed, but now I'm gonna smash you, Tom. Oh man, <laughs> he's going in. Top ten rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh my god. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I punch you so hard you'll see three of me. You'll say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Oh, half your fucking. That's clever. Now, Mac, you should have done this one. When he did the hi Dave, hi Dave, hi Dave, because what I do know is uh, the Hog Fam, um, hashtag Hog Fam, by the way, they have been trolling Mac on this hi Dave, and the reason I know that is when I reacted to the hi Dave part of the of Tom's diss, I mean everybody's like hi Dave, hi Dave, and they're all trolling him. Now, if you would have done that, I smack, I punch you so hard, you're seeing three of me, hi Dave, hi Dave, hi Dave, that would have been brilliant. So it's still a brilliant line, but it's so late. It's so late in the game. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I love I'm this smashing guy. you on this record. I'll punch you so hard you'll see three of me. You'll say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> hi, Dave. <laughs> the fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to Feather. He went after you guys. He went after you guys. He went after the Hog fan base. Oh, he's going to get so much hate on this. Saying half of your fan base, half of you guys want to buy slit. Oh, 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 this isn't going to end well. This isn't going to end well. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch Not going to so end hard. well. You'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Uh -huh. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay, what you want, a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every... Wait, what? Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti-woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <coughs> clever line. Clever line. That's that's a fair line to say in battle rap. That's awesome because he is an anti woke something uh, rapper. Um, I don't think Tom's music puts everybody to sleep, but <laughs> that was a clever line. Self <laughs> on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Fuck everything that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, Hey, that's you. Acting like. <laughs> Oh, dude, you brought Dave Matthews in here. Uh, <laughs> the Dave Matthews band. Oh, he's saying if Dave was like, had tattoos, was, and oh, what did he say? Dude, this is sick. We'd say that's Tom. I woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Fuck everything that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man, rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits. You'll never fuck with. Mac, look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans. <laughs> Tom, Tom, listen to me. Listen to me. I know you don't do diss tracks anymore. But you can't let this slide. You gotta respond to this. You gotta respond, man. You gotta respond. Hills and wear five thousand dollar Versace suits. You'll never fuck with. He said. Now he's saying that you're not. You represent blue collar, but you're not blue collar. 
But I, I have a problem with that myself because, listen, I used to be homeless for a year. My husband was homeless for seven years. And and by God's grace, of course, we were able to, to build ourselves up. Now I have a couple of businesses and I'm doing well, right? And it's totally blue collar-ish because we started from the ground up. And I believe Tom also started from the ground up. Just because someone is successful doesn't mean that they're not blue collar. However, he does have a point. It's hard to, it's hard to represent blue collar when you're... When you're in Hollywood Hills and, um, you know, wearing those 5,000 Armini suits and stuff, but, and Gucci and all that, but uh, no, I, it's a, that's a great battle rap bar. It's legitimate, but I don't think it holds a lot of weight. In army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits, you'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African-American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? You're <laughs> Dude, he's saying right here that this is Tom about to get gang banged. By and then he, he starts the song with, he's saying that's Tom too. He's saying that's Tom right there about to get Gang banged in an episode of Black. Your fans <laughs> cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. You're a fake frog. I mean, again, there's some vali validity to the soccer mom thing. So. Again, he's he's going after the hog, the hog um, hangover gang, right? And he's saying, "Listen, you guys are, you guys are just psychos," is what he's saying. And your fan base is just the he what not not me. I'm I'm just repeating what what Max saying. He's saying you guys are the scum of the earth. And then he says um, <clears throat> that you know you're just a 52 year old soccer mom listening to music. I don't even listen to rap now. What's funny is, or what's interesting is, there's some truth to what he's saying here because. Um, I've had so many people in my comments as I started to react to Tom, because I've done a lot of Tom re reactions now, especially as a liberal, and many of them says, you know, I'm 53-year-old person, I don't listen to rap, but Tom, I listen to Tom, and so he literally took the comments of what, what many have said, and he threw this as a, as a diss, and that's legitimate. That's legitimate. Actors, what you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans <laughs> cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. You're a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like. Wait, wait, what? I'll rip it apart, Tom. Did you. Finally, a rapper is saying, okay, it's tough. Rap that matters. This, is this guy fire trash? The white Kendrick. Oh. <sighs> I mean, if it's out there, it's out there. Get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars. Burning his body. I'll rip it apart. Tom. Did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. Yep. I paved your road, real indie since 01. Now okay. I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. He's got Tom. Listen to what he said. He's Mar. Okay. First of all, he said. Tom is is busting that he's the only independent, which he's not, but he absolutely is independent and done his thing. So you gotta give him props for that. Um, lay down, lay down, lay down. Um, let me hear this again. Sorry guys, we're breaking this down as best I can, so we're we're, we're pausing a lot on this one. Print from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your road, real indie since oh. Hold on. Lars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart, Tom. Did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? Guys, talking hey, like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I so he's saying, yeah. So what he's saying here, and, and there's, there's, I think there's facts to this. Honestly, I think this is absolutely facts. Where Tom is saying, listen, I'm the one. I'm the one that kicked down all, opened all the doors for everybody. Now, Tom did open doors for people. That's true. But he wasn't the only one. There were so many people before him that did that as well. He just, you know, he's done it more uh, recently, I would say. Paved your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. So what he's saying, oh, now this is a sick bar by. This is actually really sick. And this is really clever. Because Marvin Gaye, say Mar used to, Marvin Gaye's father used to beat him. And it was so bad that Marvin Gaye even changed the spelling of his last name because he didn't want to be associated with that. And what Mac is saying is, listen, I'm your father. 
I'm you're Marvin Gaye. I'm your father. I'm crucifying you. And then he puts Tom on a crucifixion with a Canadian flag behind it, of all things. <laughs> now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. There's a story about a boy named Tom. He had a rich dad and a racist mom. And then he's playing some Marvin Gaye style. <laughs> oh, and then you bring it up. He's showing, dude, he's being so disrespectful on purpose. He's called out your girlfriend. He's called out your mom. He's called out your dad. He's called out your fans. He's called out you. Dude, Tom, you got to respond to this. He had a rich dad and a racist mom. And what, what's interesting there, too, is because Tom is saying that he didn't come up with, with money. And Mac is saying, no, 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 you came up with money. That's how you did it. So he's just, he's refuting what Tom is saying. And, and Mac is saying, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Nova, daddy, here, Nova, daddy, come here, girl, sit. He's calling her a B.I.T. He's treating Nova like a dog. Nova, daddy, here, Nova, daddy, come here, girl. Sit. Aw, oh, good girl. Here's a treat. Daddy. Here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big. It's got to be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created. You got to. Now that's OK. OK. Now Mac is speaking facts here. Now, I would say Tom definitely has for 2020. Two, three, four, for the last three, four years, he has definitely pushed up political rap. But he wasn't the only ones because we had like NWA, we had Ice Cube, these different people um, way back early on. I mean, even Eminem. Eminem always went after these things. So it didn't start with Trump. I'm sorry, with Trump. <laughs> because Eminem went after Trump. It didn't start with Tom. It started with uh, way back before that. Okay, he wasn't. T um, and I know what he's addressing. He's addressing God mode, how he. Where Tom says, you know, I started this genre and everyone's copying me, but Tom didn't start the genre. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Now, doesn't mean I don't rock with Tom, <clears throat> but these are facts. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big. It's got to be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created. You got to yeah. be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice-T, Ice Cube, yep. Immortal Technique, X-Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course I mean, it's right there. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly. So these are facts. You can't argue with facts. Gotta be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created. You gotta yeah. be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal yep. Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course yep. you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right? Guns coming about the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. A car. You wanna be a miracle? Oh my goodness. Dude, that was, that was a clever bar on the First Amendment here. I gotta hear this again. Culture. Second Amendment, right? Guns coming about the... Sorry, Second Amendment. I said First Amendment, Of course I? you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right? Guns coming about the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pulled the trigger. A car. You want to be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag. And now you're getting toe-tagged on every single song. You use that same dead flow. Your girls like Emily Willis, a brain-dead hoe. I should have known. So he says that, listen, he wants to be famous so bad that he, and he, he's abandoned, or he wants to be American so bad that he's abandoned his, his flag, which he kind of has, which, but again, there's nothing wrong with that. But then he says he uses the same flow and, and Tom does use different flows, but there are a lot of consistent flows that he does use. Now it's fire. I'm not going to say it's not fire, but yeah. And Max, Max just mixed it up right here. Here. Song you use that same dead flow. Your girls like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe. I should have known. Emily Willis. So she was a porn star, and um, she got into some kind of accident or something. She got out of that, but now she's actually in a coma, and she's saying that Nova is a porn star 
who's brain dead like this person. Dude, he's going for the jugular. Jug Nova, Nova, you got to respond since Tom won't. You got to respond. Long you use that same dead flow. Your girl's like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe. I should have known that you're a damn snake. The type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake. Call a truce, declare peace on the landscape. Then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus. But in real life, you act like Judas. With pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whipped. That's actually a brilliant bar too. Dude, Max going in and he's and he's coming in with some really clever battle rap bars saying, like, listen, in God mode, you act like you were Jesus, like you were in God mode, but really you're like Judas coming in. You're like Brutus and Caesar. Act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really Did he just say whiplash? Real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. You Wasn't whiplash like this this really controversial like music teacher who used to smack his students and Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. Yeah. You That's a clever bar. Tracks, they really ain't my I got whiplash, that so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. When I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live. I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice that you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice and say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks. When I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slapped. Shit, we can battle on King of the Dot. Your girl knows all those dudes. She's seen all their cocks. We could. So one, that would be fun to see because Tom is a wrestler. It would be cool to say, hey, take up the challenge. Just put $50,000 online. Let's donate it to a nice little charity. Uh, let's see who will battle uh, in real life. Now, I know that Mac Lethal is a lot older, but this would be fun to see. I mean, if we can see Tyson and YouTube Man, <laughs> if they're going to fight, we can see Tom and Mac. This would be fun. You said in all your diss tracks When I'm a foot away from you And you might just get bitch slapped Shit, we can battle on King of the Dot Your girl no And I love that Battle like King of the Dot Like K-Dot in a sense So we can battle like K-Dot Because K-Dot just battled with Drake And slaughtered him Away from you and you might just get bitch slapped Shit, we can battle on King of the Dot Your girl knows all those dudes She's seen all their cocks We could battle up in Canada Right in your hometown I'll let you pick the city and venue It goes down And I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you Because in hip-hop There ain't a bigger fraud than you I went on Dude, these are clever bars These are clever bars Um, Tom, you gotta respond, buddy Tour with deep applause than you because in hip hop there ain't a bigger fraud than you. I went on tour with D12, those dudes are my new friends. They showed okay. me some video you made for Eminem. They told me they were in the studio with Slim when he watched it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. Eminem, so Mac Lethal was on tour with D12. And someone in D12 or someone showed Eminem Tom's song video and M cringed after 30 seconds and shut off because they're, they're on opposite sides of the political realm right but M M is a phenomenal rapper M's the goat M's the goat I'm just saying M's the goat and uh I mean I'll say that as loud loud and proud M is the goat he is so such a good rapper and if M don't like this and I know that Tom bought uh, a beat from M paid like a hundred thousand for it or something like that, and I think that was the Dear Slim song that I have not reacted to yet, <clears throat> or have I? No, I don't think I have. <clears throat> um, but I know the history because I've been talking to all your Hog family, and um, ooh, that's a, that's a double whammy punch because because what he's saying is like Tom is so is like idolizing Eminem, and Eminem is like saying that Tom is cringe because in hip hop. Mac, we need receipts. There ain't a bigger fraud than you. I went on tour with D12. Those dudes are my new friends. They showed me okay. some video you made for Eminem. They told me they were... So, oh, made a video for Eminem. So was that the Dear Slim that he's talking about? 
Oh, I bet it is. Those dudes are my new friends. They showed me some video you made for Eminem. They told me they were in the studio with Slim. When he watched it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. Eminem doesn't like you. He does not respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have you noticed that publicly... <laughs> I respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have you noticed? Now I gotta respond to that song. <laughs> I gotta respond to that one next. That publicly he's never even mentioned it. I'm sorry, buddy. I know that's not how you envisioned it. You thought he'd call you like, hey, Tom, it's Slim Shady. You're so controversial. How are you this crazy? You want to <laughs> make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the live ladies having mixed babies and how the Mexican border is being invaded by woke Palestinians causing inflation? We'll call it White Boys Part 12. It'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get <laughs> <laughs> Did he have something like that on God mode where he was he had he's standing in the podium and he has that that crap emoji right there? Oh dude, this is sick. This he's going out he's going all in. Look at he's saying everything that Tom likes. He Tom's girlfriend, Tom's fan base, Tom's music, Eminem, everything that Tom is about, he's he's fully dissing. I love this. This is fire. This is fire. Woke Palestinians causing inflation. We'll call it white boys part twelve. It'll be awful. And the Grammy go Part 12. <laughs> Instead of part 1, 2, 3, 4, part 12. Goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that says <laughs> his Owens views. Hey! The Ben Shapiro thing was fire. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed that one. Goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that censored Candace Owens views quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music. And he tried to. I mean, okay, okay. I mean, there's some facts there. The whole thing that went down with Candace Owen and and um, Ben Shapiro, that is a mess. That is a whole censoring mess. And, you know, he's supposed to be all about freedom of speech, but don't go against anything that he says or he censors it. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Do a song with your... I'm talking about Ben. I'm talking about Ben now. I just don't know. And I, I've watched a lot of Ben Shapiro. You know? I don't know. <laughs> Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro. The dude that censored Candace Owens views quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music. Didn't say that. Had to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts or your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap. To That's actually a clever bar, by the way. No one's supposed to care about your facts or your feelings. Facts over feelings. The shirt that that was being worn in the video with Ben Shapiro. That was clever. But now he's going after the Hog fam again. Oh, you guys aren't gonna, you guys aren't gonna like this. Y'all ain't gonna like this. To get wet, that song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR-15s in classrooms that never heard a Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You make music for. Hashtag Wu Tang. This is, I can see why there's controversy on this one. I can see why there's so much hate. Now, in all fairness, it is a diss track. And yes, Mac Lethal got the L on the last one. And Hog Fam went after him and has been going after him for years. Now, I don't recommend going after fan bases. That's just not my thing because <clears throat> there's too many of them. But in Mac's defense, as I play devil's advocate here, they went after Mac too. So <laughs> it's all fair game. But I don't think Mac's gonna win. The Capitol building, you make rap tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR 15s in classrooms that never heard a Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You Hashtag Nas. 
All of them, Dell, all of them. Make music for people that hate black dudes, people that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos, people that say the N word while playing Call of Duty, people that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it. Incels that are terrified of sex and people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three. Ah, man, are you going to put up with that? Are you guys going to put up with that? Oh. <laughs> <coughs> now, he's going over the stereotypes because those are the stereotypes. I'm not going to lie. Before I got to know a lot of y'all, because <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are on my channel and I really appreciate you guys, that is what I heard about. So he's taking the stereotype. Now, stereotypes true? No, stereotypes aren't true. But he's going all in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sex and people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I real. Mac. Dude. That's <laughs> that doesn't help you. Yeah, this comes out. You know, two months too late or a month too late, and you had to rewrite it three times. Like that—that that means you—you've been obsessed with this. Don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut, and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface, and instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself. It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth, but the money, fame, Louis and Gucci, it didn't help. You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt, put it around your neck. Kick out the stool, then kill yourself. You need to put a gun to your head, then drill yourself. Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself. I swear to God, I know record label. So Mac, I have a question for you, bro. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think they're ever going to be friends after this. Ever. If they were. Dude. Go hang yourself, drill yourself, kill yourself. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself. I swear to God, I know record label execs that managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to. Maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. Let's be clear. He's got another one in the chamber, guys. Oh, so he's saying that 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 Tom has sucked up to the to the record labels at some point, and maybe he's not doing that now. But he's like, you bet. Oh, and then he's that demonic voice. You better tread lightly. You better tread lightly. Tom, bro, you gotta respond. You gotta respond. And if you won't, Nova, respond. Somebody from that household, respond. <laughs> We need this. Oh, this is so good. This is brutal. I mean, he's bringing in some some points now. Just because I I love a good diss doesn't mean I don't love the artist that's being dissed. I rock with Tom. I think Tom's a great artist. But this has to be responded to. You can't ignore this. He disrespected everything about you. He disrespected your fan base. Your family, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad. He's disrespected your, I mean, everything. The people you idolize, M&M. &M, I mean, he's gone down the list. And whoo, <laughs> you got to respond. Well, <clears throat> I don't even know what to say at this point. <sighs> Have fun, guys. I'm going to, Tom, you got to respond. That's all I got to say. I'm out, guys. <laughs> God bless you guys. Whoa.